the perimeter of a shape is the distance all the way around the edge of the shape. So here we've got a question that says find the perimeter of the triangle. So it's the total distance around the edge of the shape. So we've got three sides to a triangle. We've got three centimeters, four centimeters and five centimeters. And the perimeter will be these lengths added together. So three plus four plus five. Three plus four is seven. Seven plus five is 12. So the perimeter is 12 centimeters perimeter is a length we measure it in centimeters or meters or millimeters in this case centimeters okay one for you to try so give this one a go so the perimeter is the distance all the way around the edge of the shape a triangle has got three sides so we're going to add up each of the lengths so we've got 5 plus 12 plus 13. 5 plus 12 is 17. 17 plus 13 is 30. So the perimeter is 30 centimetres. Here we've got a rectangle. The question says find the perimeter of the rectangle. And we know that the opposite two sides of a rectangle are equal in length. So we've got a nine here, a length of nine. So the opposite side has also got a length of nine. And we've got a width of four. So the opposite side will also be four centimeters. So the perimeter is the distance all the way around the edge. So all of the lengths of the sides added together so we can say we've got two nines, so two times nine, two nines and two fours. So two nines are 18, two fours are eight. So in total, 18 plus eight is 26. So we've got 26 centimeters. So the distance around the edge of the shape is 26 centimeters and one for you to try so give it a go so it's another perimeter of a rectangle we've got two eights and two sixes two eights are 16 two sixes are 12 and 16 plus 12 is 28 so we've got 28 centimetres. The distance all the way around the edge of the shape is 28 centimetres. Okay, this time we've got a rectangle with a length of 8 centimetres, a width of 6 centimetres. And we are told a shape is made from four of these rectangles. And we need to find the perimeter of this shape. So all the way around the edge of this shape. So we know every length is eight. So these bits are eight. Every width is six. So the short sides are all six. But how about this bit here? How about these lengths here? How far, how long are these red bits? So we know the whole length, the whole long length is eight and this short length is six. So eight take away six is two. So all of these red lengths are two. So now we know what every length is. We know all the way around the shape every length so all we have to do is add them all together so we've got one two three four eights so four times eight we've got four of these sixes and we've got four twos 
So let's add them all together. Four eights. Four eights are 32. Four sixes are 24. And four twos are eight. So adding this up, 32 and eight make 40. Plus 24 is 64. So it's 64 and it's in centimeters. So it's 64 centimeters all the way. If you started at one point and walked all the way around the shape and measured all the way around the shape, it would be 64 centimeters. And one for you to try. So give this one a go. So we've got a rectangle with a length of seven, a width of three. So every long side is a seven, every short side is a three. We need to find the total, the perimeter. So we're missing this one bit here, but we can see it's seven. It's a long side, take away a short side. So a long side is seven. This whole length is seven. This one's three, seven take away three is four. So what do we have? We've got three of these sevens, so three sevens, three threes, and a four. Three sevens are 21, three threes are nine, and we've got a four. So we've got 21 plus nine, which is 30, plus four, 34 centimeters. So seven plus three plus seven plus three, Plus seven plus three plus four is 34. And another example, we've got a rectangle. We're told the perimeter is 18 centimeters, but we've got a missing width. We've got a missing side. So we need to work out what the missing side is. So we know the opposite sides in a rectangle are equal. So the top and the bottom are both worth seven, both seven centimeters long. And the two sides are gonna be equal as well. So the total length around the edge is 18. So we know we've got two sevens, which make 14. So we can say 18 take away 14 is Four. So the two sides we know add up to 14. We've taken them off, which means we've got four centimeters left. So these two sides are four centimeters long. So two W's are four centimeters. So one W must be two centimeters. So if this is two centimeters, we get a total of 18. Seven plus seven plus two plus two is 18. So W must be two centimeters. And one for you to try. So give it a go. So this time the perimeter's 32. And again, we're finding W. So we know we've got 10 so far, 10 and 10. So 20 in total, two tens are 20. 32 take away 20 is 12. So the two missing sides add up to 12 and they're equal. So we can find out what they are by halving 12. And that will be six. So W is six centimeters, 10 plus 10 plus six plus six equals 32. One more question, one more example even. A square has an area of 81 centimeters squared. Find the perimeter of the square. So the area is 81 centimeters squared. And for a square, so if this is L, say so L, the length is called L. So for a square, 
to find the area, we multiply the length by itself because every length, every edge of the square, every side is equal. So what times itself is 81? If we do the square root of 81, we get 9. So each length must be 9 centimetres because 9 times 9 makes 81. What's the perimeter? A square's got four sides. They're all nine centimetres. So four nines are 36 centimetres. So four nines are 36. So the perimeter, the length all the way around the edge of the shape is 36 centimetres. And one for you to try. This time, the square has an area of 36 centimetres squared. And if we square root the 36, we get 6. That means 6 times 6 makes 36. So it must be every length of the square has, is, every length of the square is 6 centimetres. Because the area of a square is the length of the side multiplied by itself. 6 times 6. So the perimeter is 4 sides, so 4 sixes, which is 24 centimetres. So the length all the way around the edge of the square is 24 centimetres. And to finish up, we've got two questions. So pause the video and give these a go. Question one, find the perimeter of the rectangle. So the opposite sides are equal. So we've got two 11s and we've got two fives. Two 11s make 22. Two fives make 10, so 22 and 10 make 32. So the length all the way around the edge of the shape, 11 plus 5 plus 11 plus 5 is 32 centimetres. Question 2. The rectangle has a perimeter of 38 centimetres. What is W? So at the moment, we know we've got two 12s and two Ws, and they all add up to 38. Two 12s are 24. So 38 take away 24 is 14. So two Ws must add up to 14. So two Ws must add up to 14. So half of 14 is 7. So each W must be 7. So 7 plus 12 plus 12 plus 7 equals 38. So W must be 7. 